Hello educators, school districts, and schools. I'm Josh Oakes with smartsocial.com. Today I have Beth from our team, and we're gonna walk you through what you need to know about our biggest resources on our website from the last month and what's coming up this month. Beth, welcome to the video. Walk us through some of the biggest resources that Smart Social is coming out with. Yeah, so in March, we were all about Instagram. So we have totally refreshed our Instagram page for parents, teachers, and students. So we have lots of videos and walkthroughs of exactly how to find settings for all the different features in Instagram, including the brand new family center that Meta is unrolling. They have it out for right now for Instagram. They want to put it out for all of their products. It's not parent controls, it's parent supervision. So we we go through what the difference of that is, but how parents and students and really teachers could use it all together to help keep kids safer on Instagram. Just a quick tiny note, educators, if you haven't yet reached, filled out a form to partner with us to talk about how our resources can save lives in your community, on our discussion, you'll notice that there's a table of contents on the left for busy parents, and that's where you can go down to the student video section. You can learn about Instagram and the news. If you haven't logged in yet, you can get a VIP pass just by talking with us. Uh, you're gonna learn about news clips. Everything is available in nine languages. Uh, and if you need a language that isn't on our website, let us know. There's no grandparent ever left behind. And it's gonna walk you through all this information. Beth and the rest of the team put this together. It is so much work and it's really, really terrific. Okay, we're back over to the front page. Talk to us about the next resource. Yeah, so Reddit is super popular. Um, a lot of us will just see the results when we Google a question and there's answers there. But we have determined that Red that Reddit is in the red zone for the smart social ranking of apps. And that is because kids can find a lot of dangerous images, information, discussions, things that a lot of parents probably don't want their kids seeing. So um, it's all out there, which is why it's in that red zone. So in this guide, we go through it in very great detail of why parents should care that their students are using Reddit. And I think this is very applicable for teachers to learn as well, because we all want our kids to be doing great, credible, research about their topics. Online is where they're going to get it. We want kids to question, is Reddit the best source to answer the question for my essay? So this could be a great resource for teachers just to present to your students about credibility of the information that they're seeing out there. And just a quick side note, we built into this Red Zone app badge that you as educators need to know about when you're suggesting this to parents and using us as a resource. When you click on that badge, it's going to teach you all about why it's listed in the Red Zone and what the Red Zone is. You can literally click there and it will walk you through everything. So please use that as a resource. Even if you don't talk with us, learn what the different zones mean. Okay, we're back over to here. Let's talk about the next resource. Yeah, parents are always looking for different ways to control what kids are putting on their devices. And Google Play has an option to do that. If the students are downloading media on an Android or any device that uses Google Play, you can set the maturity level or the rating level within Google Play so that they can't download mature apps or even teen apps. So we found this as we were researching about Reddit because Reddit is rated M for mature in Google Play. So parents could block this on their students' apps, on their students' devices by blocking the mature apps. And I think an important note for schools is that if you run your district or your school on Google Chromebooks, this could be an option to help prevent students downloading mature or teen apps on those Chromebooks as well. So just a, a few tips for technology people, just keep your devices safe. This might be in another option for you. Excellent tips. Now we have the negative effects of video games, which is a whole rundown, but you're telling me that one of the best things that students are using is this middle resource that we see right here, teens using social media for good deeds. Yeah, this is one of our most popular pages when we look at how people are using our website, and this one comes up a lot. So we reached out, we added a bunch of new experts, we're going to keep adding to this. So schools, if you have students who do great social media projects, or you found a student that really puts it out there and uses social media as good, we'd love to add to this page, we're always adding. So share your tips, you can always get in touch with us and, and share what people are doing that are good, we want to know those too. Now, quick side note, 
if you roll over parents up at the top and you go to our teen slaying emojis and hashtags page, educators, this page has absolutely become one of our leading resources, especially during the pandemic and even before the pandemic. It's going to walk all your parents and your staff through the secret emoji meanings, the popular teen slaying, the dangerous hashtags, the social media acronyms, and social media terms. If you want to know those teen slaying, all you do is you click on this button. It will scroll you down to that resource. You can copy and paste that link in there. You can take some of this information and also put it in your newsletters. We do suggest that you link back to this page so that parents get the latest and greatest data and they can come here and see everything, stuff that you couldn't put in your newsletter, perhaps. And then there's always a back to top button. We were recently on the news for this and we'll send you guys more information on it, but the secret emoji meanings is super important. There's a lot of information in there that's hidden and parents always find this page probably the most fascinating. I hear from everybody. I had no idea that's what that meant. Beth, what do you wanna tell the educators before we round this out? Yeah, so April is another great month for us. Our VIP live topic that we are really focusing and diving deep into is Snapchat. And I think almost every school we talk to says Snapchat's an issue. So we're diving into it. We're trying to find all the tips, all the secrets, all the different techniques that parents and educators can use to keep kids safe on Snapchat. And something that we really want to add to more of our courses like Snapchat are real stories from more parents, more students, more teachers. So if you have a teacher or a counselor who has done a lot of work with students or has faced an issue about something that they saw or something that happened because of Snapchat, we'd love to hear that story and share what you learned and how you succeeded to get through that situation so we can share that with other teachers who are facing the same thing every day. You can use our contact us page or reply to any of our emails. Yeah. Quick last note, we're logged in as Beth right here. This is what a real mom, a real dad would see when they're logged into our platform. It greets them by their first name. And as they scroll down, this is our dashboard. We've got gaming safety app navigation. We've got dangerous challenges. You can see our latest and greatest. If you click on dangerous challenges, you're going to see all the latest dangerous challenges. Yes, a lot of them originate from TikTok, but they really happen anywhere. You're going to see them all on our website. We make it super easy for parents to better understand what their kids are doing online in just a few minutes. I want to thank all of you for doing this. Thanks to Beth. Thanks to the rest of the team. If you're looking to partner with us, or at least just have a discussion, you can roll over educators at the top and click partner with us. Fill out that form, schedule a time to chat with us, and we'll show you a lot of our resources. Thanks so much. Thank you, Beth, for your time today. Yeah, thanks for having us. All right, everyone. We'll see you on the next video. Have a great day. Take care.